So, the Vectus Prime. This is a bit of a fan favorite out of the snipers for Warframe, and I can't really blame the community for liking it. It hits hard, it's got a great fire rate and reload speed, has amazing status and crit chance, and has a firing style that's unique among all the snipers. It's basically a two-shot bolt-action rifle, and even though the Rubco and Laka are great, the Vectus Prime is still sometimes considered the best out of the snipers which contributes to it being the hardest to get. Unless you get lucky with people using vaulted relics, you better pull out your wallet or do a lot of trading for plat because you can expect a full Vectus Prime set to cost somewhere around 150 to 200 platinum. But that might actually be worth it because the Vectus Prime is undeniably among the best of the sniper rifles thanks to its very high base stats. It comes with 30% crit chance, which means that the only snipers with a better chance to crit, and of course a better chance to proc hunter munitions, are the Rubico Prime and the Lanka when it's zoomed in. And while the Vectus doesn't really have an unusual crit damage stat, it does have the second highest base damage of the snipers at 350, which is almost double that of the Rubico, so you can expect your crits to hit really, really hard. Which works wonderfully with either gas damage or the hunter munitions and viral combo, as the Vectus Prime has the highest status chance of its class, and you can expect to see whatever you status you built for to pop up fairly regularly. And even if it doesn't, well, you've got the second highest fire rate out of all the snipers, by far the fastest reload speed, and you can reload while aiming, so missed and ineffective hits matter less than they normally do. But of course, the Vectus Prime does have some downsides, and while this is a matter of personal preference, the firing pattern can certainly be a part of it. You see, the Vectus Prime has only two bullets in its magazines. Fire those off, and you have to reload. And while the Vectus has one of the fastest reload speeds of any weapon in the game, this need of constant reloads can be a major turnoff, even though I'm not sure I actually want to call it a straight up negative which is kind of the same opinion I have about the Vectus's combo multiplier. It has, by far, the worst combo multiplier out of all of the snipers at 5. So your damage increases to 150% after 5 hits, 200% after 15, 250 after 45, etc, etc. This can feel extremely slow, especially after dealing with something like the Rubico, which is unlocked 250% of its damage multiplier by, like, the 10th shot. But, since the Vectus has such monstrous base damages, those combo multipliers increase its total damage by a lot each time they level up, so while increasing your combo levels will take way longer than with other snipers, once you do get to another level you will certainly notice the jump in damage. So, the fire style isn't exactly a problem, and the combo multiplier isn't an issue that really matters, so does this thing have any downsides? No, not really. It has one of the highest recoils of the snipers, which can make repeated headshots an issue, and its lowest level of zoom is actually quite high compared to the other snipers, which can make using it in close range combat a bit weird, but that's really it for the negatives. Like with the Rubico Prime, the Vectus Prime is just good. It's not got a significant downside, it's generally around second place in most categories, and it's got an area where it's going to surpass everything else. It's certainly one of the best sniper rifles in the game, and its unique bolt actionish style might be a major plus for some people. But its firing mode with its constant need of reloads can be a major turnoff for some players, and there are areas where the other snipers simply surpass the solidity of the Vectus Prime. So if you like this weapon, use it. It's fantastic, it's unique, it's stylish, you can take it wherever you want and do well. But the difference in total effectiveness between it and some of these other snipers is never significant enough to put it clearly in the lead. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned anything, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Farewell.